Hello, my name is David Kim, and I'm going to give a TED Talk regarding the topic, Corona Blue. I have a family of four, including myself, my sister, my mom, and dad. I thought that everything would go right, such as the schoolwork, my relationships, etc., until the COVID-19 came into action. As you guys already know, by the COVID-19, everybody needs to stay in home, meaning that we couldn't go outside, no food outside, no physical school, no everything. At the first of the weeks of quarantine, our family thought that this would last about three months only, as everyone said. But that did not happen, happen, unfortunately, but instead it lasted until now, which is more than one year. Many experts and people are appealing their difficulties regarding not only jobs and education, but food, water, and their basic necessities. This means that when we are upfront about a serious problem, we rely on the first dimensional needs. But besides this, we aren't able to overlook the post-pandemic situations, which are the emotional discomfort, nowadays also known as the corona boom. Here in the situation where we lived with the coronavirus over a year, I am sure that you guys already are feeling or already subbed up by the corona boom. Now, some will question yourself, why? Why is Corona Blue sucking, our eating, sucking and eating our mentality and our positive energy? Simple, because of worriness. I was always thinking about what is the biggest fear or pain that can, a human can feel. It did not take too long to find the answer. For example, many are feeling loneliness, anxiety, depression, and all that kind of emotional stuff. But why is that happening? Because you're worried about something. You're worried about your relationships with your friends. You're worried that your skills in soccer will be thrown up. You're worried sort of everything. But that is totally normal. And that, was, that is what humans do. They are worried about their first dimensional necessities that will be unavailable because of the pandemic. <sighs> that is the corona blue. I really can assure you that. Until now, Everybody here thinks that this situation is totally negative. Well, in fact, generally it is still negative, but besides this, you can have new chances or opportunities to try to try such another things that having that just having the daily cycle in front of your computer. I have a friend that is 16 to 17 years old and he lives near me, so we meet together to play basketball. Before the pandemic started, he had short hair, nice outfits, and generally looked nice. But now, as I go to the basketball court, I see him as a totally different person or a totally different style. He has a long for hair for a boy, loose clothes, and no glasses. I would refer him as a hard rocker. And one day I asked him why, like literally, why would he change his personality to something that most people don't like? And he said that trying new things, even if it is negative or it disturbs you, it doesn't feel so bad to try new things. After then, I thought that tr that is truly correct. Trying, new, trying crazy new things, like a mad scientist, is not too bad. Now, returning to the talk, when do you guys think that you could try or would sit down in the chair for years having the same cycle? I think that trying new things could make a change to your life. So, trying to obtain any possible silver lining from this kind of extraordinary situation, meaning the corona blue, can give kind of a twist to your life, which is not always negative. So, until now, I've mentioned two important things. First, which is worriness, and second, about not being perfect or, and or giving a twist to your life. I've seen many TED Talks, and at least they have mentioned some solutions. But me, as a 14-year-old boy, I haven't lived my life too long and I haven't found any certain solutions for those two problems. But even though I only lived, lived 14 years, I can assure you that you will, at the end, find a way to overcome these problems. Thank you for listening.